Well, 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 who do we have on the chopping block today? We have the Love and Hip Hop ATL cast members. Rumors have it that they are getting the axe. Nobody want to see them on the screen no more, allegedly. Because it's just the whole season is just crazy with all this fake scripted drama that you can just tell is fake. They ain't even trying to put a little reality on it. Just a little dash. Then they have Tommy. She was supposed to have got fired mid-season because of her problems with the legal system. And that's why she couldn't allegedly go to Love and Hip Hop, the reunion that happened yesterday and today as well. I know I said 25th, but I guess they changed it. I don't know, but it was yesterday and today. So she couldn't go to that because she had to stay in Georgia. She can't, you know, be flying everywhere. And then we had this whole situation with Stevie and Jocelyn. They going tit for tat. And she calling him a pansexual. He saying they never was married. I mean, all this drama just leading up to stupidity at the end of the day. But let's go ahead and get into this uh, topic. I got my information from B. Scott as well as, uh, let me see, The Daily Beast and All News is Hip Hop. So don't be kind of trying to come check for me tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. These are all supposed to be uh, reputable sources. So yeah, and I also give the link so you can actually go see what I'm talking about. Alright, and at the end of the day, everybody had their own opinions. These celebrities already know or trying to come up and be some celebrities I already know what they're getting themselves into being on this wretched ass show okay but here we go so rumors are swirling that the show might be losing its entire cast and may not return as one of the most controversial franchises in TV the Atlanta series was the highest rated in the love and hip hop franchise i can believe it because i mean loving loving hip hop new york because that's where it originally came from that's where they started at it was okay for a couple of seasons and then it just fell off hollywood uh, mm, and then they supposed to have one in houston as well as miami i don't know if that's gonna you know come to fruition but hey but sources close to the production team say a full scale revamp is among the possibilities but all of the current cast members including hit maker stevie j when the last time he made a hit just saying r&b star k michelle and i'm surprised you know she even want to be back on this show because she was just talking about how the show just put her in a um, bad light and this and that and she wasn't even on the season a lot you know she made her basically appearances here and there uh, the first you know episodes and stuff like that but and Jocelyn Hernandez have been told that their contracts will not be renewed and I'm like oh, oh okay this is you know just what they saying now and they also said that this this is coming from all hip-hop that the producers on the show are reaching out to anybody and everybody in Atlanta trying to get some new cast members and I'm like well damn you gotta you you can't get no new cast members but I gotta think about it who really want to be on this show and jeopardize or try to jeopardize their reputation to be in the music industry because they probably you know reached out to T.I. you know Tiny uh who else we got? Ludacris. You know, people who really doing something. But you got to think about it. They're not going to risk their reputation because they all know what comes with this whole show. And plus, they want to have their name on some stuff. They don't want to be just a cast. They want to be a director. You know, they want to make their money for them. It's all about them at the end of the day. Okay? So, they also said the only problem is there is no real reason a real slab would need to appear on the controversial reality show my point exactly ain't nobody checking for that show because i'm surprised the game even came on and did his little look trying to find love you know when i think when you hit these type of reality shows which is not even reality you 
you scrapping for some you scrapping for some coins because I mean come on now we all know what goes in in um oh excuse me what goes inside and down in these TV shows like the wretchedness is just real it's like it's not even fun no more to watch it's like why am I wasting my time watching these shows you know maybe thinking something's gonna happen and be like oh snap but it's just fake and ugh. but yeah y'all that's the word on the street so maybe we can get some clarity in a couple of weeks or in a week or two because like I said they did the reunion this week so probably next week that's probably season finale and then they're gonna hit us with the reunion maybe we can get some clarity then of what's really going on with this franchise because I'm on a, mm -mm. you're gonna have to do better honey you're gonna have to do better with these cast members because the drama you bring in is mm -mm. I don't know what and I heard the pay ain't even that good you know I'm just saying so mm -mm. but y'all tell me what y'all think I'm actually gonna have a poll um, that's going to be showing in your in the upper right hand corner of the screen and y'all make sure y'all enter in that poll and y'all also tell me in the comment section below do you really want to see another love and hip hop ATL um, do you think they need to get rid of the whole cast or maybe just a couple of people or do you just think Mona should just shut this all down because it's just getting too much okay too much but that was my word on the street segment with y'all. See y'all. Take care. Peace.